Imagine waking up to a strange smell in your home, your eyes burning, your child coughing. In the heart of Florida, a disquieting mystery begins to unfold. Our tale centers around two individuals, Zooming Lee, a dedicated chemistry PhD student at the University of South Florida, and his upstairs neighbor, Umar Abdullah, a new father just trying to navigate the joys and tribulations of parenthood. The birth of Umar's daughter in August of 2022 was a joyous event, but it soon became marred by a string of complaints from his downstairs neighbor, Lee. Footsteps were too loud, drawers closing echoed like thunder, even the whisper of the toilet seat being moved seemed to disturb the peace. But the peculiarities didn't stop there. A strange, unplaceable odor started to seep into Umar's apartment. Eyes stinging and his newborn's cough growing worse, Umar couldn't shake off the uneasiness. The smell was so potent, so vile, it was worse than nail polish remover. With his senses assaulted by an unidentifiable stench, Umar sought help from local law enforcement. The smell was a relentless presence, an invisible intruder that filled Umar's home with an odor that was sharper than nail polish remover. It was a smell that didn't belong, a smell that made his eyes burn and his baby daughter cough. Umar was determined to find the source. He began his investigation by cleaning his air ducts, a task as tedious as it was necessary. But the smell persisted, an unwelcome guest that refused to leave. His efforts seemed in vain, but Umar was not one to admit defeat so easily. Next, he dialed up the local authorities. Concern etched in his voice, he described the situation. The burning eyes, the coughing baby, the relentless smell. The authorities listened, their silence on the other end of the line punctuated by the occasional hum of affirmation. They promised to help, to find the source of the smell, to restore peace to Umar's home. In the meantime, Umar took matters into his own hands. There was an unease that settled in his gut, a nagging feeling that something was amiss. He decided to install a hidden camera outside his door, a silent sentinel that would watch over his home when he couldn't. It was a small step, but it was a step nonetheless, a step towards finding the source of the smell that had turned his home into a place of discomfort. Days turned into weeks as Umar waited with bated breath for a breakthrough. The camera outside his door stood guard, its unblinking eye capturing everything. But the smell persisted, a constant reminder of the mystery that was yet to be solved. But little did Umar know that he was about to uncover a horrifying truth. The camera was about to reveal a scene so chilling it would shatter the semblance of normalcy that Umar had been desperately clinging on to, a scene that would turn his world upside down. But that, dear listeners, is a story for another time. One ordinary day turned into a scene right out of a horror movie, as Umar discovered something that sent chills down his spine. Picture life as you know it, suddenly transforming into a petrifying nightmare. That's exactly what Umar Abdullah felt when he witnessed a chilling scene unfold on his hidden camera. The footage revealed a man approaching his door, armed not with a weapon of metal, but a mere syringe. This man wasn't your average intruder, but Zuming Li, the neighbor from downstairs. But what was he doing with a syringe at Umar's front door? The footage showed Lee pulling something from a vial and then injecting it through Umar's door. It was a sight that would make anyone's blood run cold. It wasn't just the act that was terrifying, but the realization that this had been happening for a while. The strange odors, the burning eyes, the sickness that had plagued his newborn daughter, it all traced back to these horrifying moments caught on camera. It was more than a neighborly dispute. It was a calculated act of terror happening right under their noses. Umar's reaction was a mix of disbelief and dread. The man he'd spoken to, the man who'd complained about noise, was the same man who had been poisoning his home. It was a thought that sent shivers down his spine. He was living above a potential monster, a man armed with a syringe and a vial of unknown chemicals. But Umar wasn't one to cower in fear. He sprang into action, his paternal instincts taking over. His first call was to the local law enforcement, providing them with the damning footage. His second call was to his family, ensuring their immediate safety. He knew he had to protect his family from the silent predator living downstairs. The chilling discovery was a wake-up call. It was a reminder of the hidden dangers that lurk in the most unexpected places. As Umar later put it, if not for that camera, we might have been just dead. It's a chilling thought that reminds us of the thin line between safety and danger, between life and death. The horror didn't stop there. The terrifying truth of what was injected was yet to be unveiled. As the investigation progressed, the story took a sinister turn. The mystery of the injected substance was laid bare by the diligent work of investigators and a hazardous materials, or hazmat test. The results were chilling. The substance was identified as a deadly cocktail of methadone and hydrocodone, two potent opioids. Methadone, 
a medication used to treat opioid addiction, and hydrocodone, a painkiller, can be lethal in the wrong hands. Together, they can cause respiratory distress, loss of consciousness, and even death. This was not a trivial act of annoyance from a disgruntled neighbor. It was a calculated, potentially lethal assault. It was a chemistry student, Juming Li, who orchestrated this horrifying act. A person who was supposed to use his knowledge for the betterment of society, instead used it for a sinister experiment. A chemistry student indeed, but one with a sinister experiment. The chilling tale doesn't end there. The nightmare was far from over. The chemistry student, Shuming Li, was apprehended, his scientific pursuits taking a dark and dangerous turn. With the evidence piling up against him, he was forced to face the consequences of his actions. However, he pleaded not guilty to both battery and possession of a controlled substance. A bold move considering the damning evidence. But the wheels of justice took an unexpected turn. Lee didn't make it to his scheduled court hearing, not because he fled, but because he was deported back to China. This sudden development left a chilling question in the air. Would he ever face the full weight of his actions? The answer lies within the statement from the 13th Judicial Circuit State Attorney. If Lee ever tries to re-enter the United States, he will face the charges again, a potential dark cloud hanging over his future. And so, the chemistry student was sent back to his homeland, leaving behind a trail of terror and a home forever haunted by his sinister deeds.